Hi, Anya Marinovich here and welcome back to the third episode of Think Yourself a Hero TV. One of the issues that seems to be popping up everywhere now is the issue of bullying. And we used to think of it as something that happens in high schools and colleges, but when the bully graduates, he or she doesn't just become a nice and ethical person. That person goes on to create a family and climb the corporate ladder. And you probably won't be pushed into a bush by your aggressive colleague on your way to work and your lunchables won't be stolen. But when there is someone aggressive in your workplace, it does create a source of stress. It also makes you feel like you're doubting yourself and it also can make you lose your voice. And then the spiral just goes down from there. And then the question becomes, so how can you help yourself manage that situation? How can you help yourself to feel more empowered to find better and more useful solutions for yourself. When I named this series Think Yourself a Hero, I kind of gave you a big hint. Because your mind, your brain is the most powerful tool, your most powerful weapon and your armor. Whatever you think about that aggressive person, that bully, you are the one who is doing the thinking. Whatever you think of yourself, once again, that's your perception. And if you will be thinking about yourself anyway, you might as well do it in such manner that gives you more power. There is a tiny switch in your brain and that switch when activated can take you from feeling inferior to feeling strong and empowered in just a matter of seconds. Would you like to know how to find that switch? And I'm imagining that I hear you nodding and saying yes, I wish I could hear your response. But most people are vision, visual learners like me. I think in pictures. And then some people are auditory learners and some people are kinesthetic learners. So whatever I'm sharing with you, you can tweak it so that it works for the way you operate in your world. So and since I think in pictures, the one that really helps me to deal with a stressful situation is something that comes from my childhood. My grandmother used to read me this old Russian fable and it was called The Elephant and Moska. Now, Moska sounds like a foreign word, and I will explain to you what it means. In the meantime, imagine a town square, and it's just crowded and filled with people. Children, parents, adults, just name it. And through the town square, you see a circus parade. You see jugglers with their batons. You see magicians breathing out fire. And then the main attraction is this enormous, huge elephant. And as the elephant is making his way down the square, a tiny little dog named Moska runs up to him, starts making circles, barking, growling, baring its teeth. Can you visualize that picture? Huge, powerful, unstoppable elephant and a tiny chihuahua. Chihuahua can be as loud as it wants to be. But the elephant is at its own level. Elephant sees his own picture. He knows where he stands. He is comfortable in his own skin. So the next time you feel like you are off balance, take a second to recalibrate your mind. Use that powerful tool you've got. Imagine yourself being that unstoppable elephant. And whatever the problem in front of you is this tiny little angry dog and on the scope of your reality, it's just a small problem. Because you're the one who gets to choose, how am I going to be in this life? How am I going to walk through it? How comf confident do I feel? C how comfortable I am in my own skill, in my field of expertise? So you can use this picture or create your own, as long as you remember that this is where all the power is coming from. Use it and let me know how it worked. If you have comments or suggestions, please contact me at thinkyourselfahero.tv or you can follow me at facebook.com slash a hero on every blog. I would love to hear from you. Every comment that I get, I respond to personally. And please share this video with people that you care about. I'll see you, on, I'll see you next Wednesday in one week with more inspiration to come.